GitHub Copilot is an amazing code assistant for software development, right? But did you have an idea how can you uh, give superpowers for your GitHub Copilot instance inside your IDE? Well, stay with me in this video and we're gonna show a little bit more about uh, superpowers for your GitHub Copilot using the slash command. Hey everyone, my name is Julio Arruda uh, and today I would like to talk a little bit more about GitHub Copilot and how can uh, this amazing uh, tool can uh, help us to increase our uh, usability, increase our productivity. Well, um, GitHub Copilot using generative AI to help us to create code, create tests, create documentations and it's an amazing tool. I use GitHub Copilot in my day for months and I can't work without GitHub Copilot anymore because the productive gain it's amazing. But uh, I don't know if you know but GitHub Copilot have a lot of shortcuts to help you to improve a little bit more your productivity using GitHub Copilot and uh, it's about that that I would like to talk with you today about how I said before about slash commands and other small shortcuts that can help you inside your day, okay? But before we're gonna go to talk about the GitHub Copilot, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click in the like and comment here if you know about the shortcuts and you have any idea about the another one. Well, uh, GitHub Copilot have a lot of shortcuts called um, slash comments to help us to increase this productivity. Uh, and the idea of this video is not to talk about all of them, but talk about the, um, some slash comments that can help you and you can go to studs and understand a little bit, a little bit more how can uh, the other slash comments can help you inside your project, okay? I'm here inside my VS code Oh, I already opened my GitHub Copilot chat because the slash commands and the other uh, shortcuts that I would like to present you working with GitHub Copilot chat, okay? And it's good because it's a, a, a best place to interact with GitHub Copilot like a chatbot and I really love to use GitHub Copilot chat this because um, it's easier to write my questions to help support and I'm not an American or I'm not uh, living in a country that uh, using English all the time. I'm from Brazil. I'm using Brazilian Portuguese all the time and GitHub Copilot supports Brazilian Portuguese and another other languages. It's an amazing and it's helped many people around the world using our main languages to interact with GitHub Copilot. However, in this video, I'm talking English and I'm using GitHub Copilot in English too, okay? And well, imagine now uh, I, I'm here in an empty folder, okay? I have no projects here yet and I would like to bootstrap my first project. And how can I create my first structure in a .NET project, for example, or in a Python project? I have no idea about that, but GitHub Copilot help me to scaffold in the project, okay? To do that, I need only to put the slash command uh, slash new, okay? Uh, I have two news command here. The first one is new notebook. It's the, the to support you to create in Jupyter notebooks, but it's not the idea from here. And we have the another one called only new. This new uh, can be uh, help us to scaffold the new project, okay? And here I will be request um, to create a new Python CLI project. And we can see what GitHub Copilot does. Okay, here GitHub Copilot uh, retrieves us a um, little quick description. Uh, sure, he's a proposed directory structure for a Python CLI project and uh, we can see the structure, have a source folder, a test folder, setup, requirements, and readme. And I have a big blue button called create workspace. I can click on this 
uh, I will be need to select the folder. I will be select the same folder uh, as the parent. And now the GitHub Copilot and VS Code is create, are creating um, all files suggested. And now I have a new folder open with my scaffolded project. Okay. Let me see at the setup.py. I have all things that I need here for my project. Okay. I have test structures and source structures. Great, it's an amazing thing that uh, we can do with GitHub Copilot, right? Scaffolding a new project can be more and more easier for us. It's a fantastic because sometimes I don't have any idea how can I create a good structure for projects and GitHub Copilot suggesting me the best structure, it's helping me a lot, okay? I don't know if you agree with me, but it's, it's a very, 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 very good thing to us. I, I love to use this to create a new project for demos, for presentations. In my case, it's helped me a lot of this. Okay, I'm gonna open my chat again. Okay, and now if I need to have an explanation about my source code, how can I do that? Well, I can open my chat, uh, I read open here, and put the explanation, explain uh, slash comments. And I can request explain this code. And here, GitHub Copilot is understand my source code and retrieve me a really, really detailed description about my project. Uh, let me see again from the top. Oh, uh, set, explain uh, my importings, explain what my importing does. Uh, a brief explanation about the functions because I have set up functions and find packages. Um, and here I have uh, an explanation how these functions can be used in the project. And okay, it's a very, very good explanation for us because I have no idea exactly what this project does. And now I have a good information uh, with a simple description. But imagine that you like to have a description for another source code that's not selected here, you can do something like that. You can put to explain slash command here and you can add and you can choose the file because here we can use this, I don't know the name of this tag is English, but uh, when you use the file tag, you can uh, select the file uh, that you can use in the project. And here I will be request to explain my main.py file and let me see about the explanation. And here now I have the explanation about the specific file and I'm not necessarily open this file to retrieve the explanation. I can only select uh, which file I need the explanation submit this and the GitHub Copilot chat can read and understand it in a specific file, okay? It's a good a way uh, that you can use to, to, to have more information about the files. I used this uh, on explanation, but I use this alone. For example, here I can use the file tag uh, using the testmine.py uh, and use here to improve the code, for example. And now, uh, the GitHub Copilot re uh, retrieve a, uh, return for us um, explanation and I improved uh, source code for me. And I think that you can understand this, the idea. Uh, you can select the file, send the file for Copilot and Copilot will be answer everything that you need based on this specific file, okay? It's a important thing that you need to know because um, you can create or have more precisely uh, answers for our questions, okay? And another one, um, another slash comment that, that I'd like to share with you is something like tests, for example. I can use here the test uh, command and generate um, the test for project. And here the copilot is using my uh, file here. And here GitHub Copilot generated for us 
um, a quick description. It's no, uh, it's a disclaimer for us because I'm trying to generate in tests for setup.py and it's not a typically uh, file that we can have any tests, okay? But as I requested, the GitHub Copilot generated some code for us, okay? And here I have the code for uh, the test for this code, okay? Uh, it's a very good because uh, I don't need to explain. Create a test for the value. I can only use the slash tag test. And if you like to create tests for a specific file, you can use the shortcode for file to to put the specific file for GitHub and re he retrieve the tests for this specific source code too. Okay, it's a good uh, superpower for our GitHub Copilot. Another thing that I really uh, I think that's uh, very important is clear the chat because sometimes I don't need to have all of this information in my uh, GitHub chat chat story uh, historical information because I really like to have a clean and I have the slash command to clear my historic information. And here I'm cleaning my GitHub Copilot chat and have a new chat with no historical information, okay? And now I have start a new discussion with no historical data. And another thing to help you to understand a little bit more about the slash commands is the help commands because uh, in the help commands, uh, GitHub Copilot will be explain all slash commands here. Let me put screen bigger. And all things that I talked today and more information and another um, slash commands you can find here in the help commands uh, and have an explanation about each one. For example, we have an explain, test, fix, new and new notebook. We have a search and API and we have a terminal commands too. And here, uh, the other short shortcuts with variables that uh, I used before, for example, for file, but you have a code base, editor, selection, git, and terminal commands too, okay? Uh, here you can understand all and can you increase your studies to understand more about these slash commands. My idea here is starting your uh, learning about that and uh, help you to understand and know slash commands if you don't know this before because it's a um, very very important amazing and I'm using this in my days it's helped me to more productivity using github copilot the shortcuts can be empowered to github copilot and I think that's the only the first uh, shortcuts that github copilot implemented implements and I think that in the future, we can have more and more shortcuts for GitHub Copilot. So, uh, I, I think that's for today that I'd like to share with you. If you know more shortcuts are different, uh, shortcuts for GitHub Copilot or different tips important to improve, to increase our productivity using GitHub Copilot, please comment here in this video below. Uh, that we can discuss more about this and help more people to understand more and can be more productive, uh, more productivity in GitHub Copilot. Okay, well, that's for today. Don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to the channel, and share in your social social networks. Okay, bye bye, and I see you in next video.